Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. And today we're going to look at Fast Lane. Yes, have you ever heard of this brand before? Well, let's talk about it. I'm going to put these aside and then uh, get into this big one here first. Um, Fast Lane, if you don't know, was a brand uh, of, of Jeffrey Inc. Do you know who Jeffrey Inc. is? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> yeah, Toys R Us. Do you, do you have a Toys R Us by you? Well, they owned and uh, they packaged and distributed a whole bunch of toys under their own um, label, per se. And they're in their house of diecast brands, they had one that was called Fastlane. Now we're gonna take a look at this one. This is the one and only that I have of this. So you're getting uh, one of Wednesday during this video, but <laughs> but we're doing the Fastlane brand. So it was owned by Toys R Us. The Toys R Us was started in 1970s something. They're out of uh, Wayne, New Jersey. All their products were pretty much made in China. Um, but this one here, a 124 scale Street Pro RC. Now most of these I did buy in the store, these in the package, because I, I did have two um, Toys R Us near me. I had one in La Crosse, which is uh, practically, I don't know, 45 minutes away or so. And then there was one in Madison, a little bit farther away, but um, I would frequent them uh, maybe every three months or so, but I would scour the store for this kind of stuff. But here it is, full function radio control, uh, officially licensed vehicles, working headlights and brake lights. Now, uh, Fastlane and, and uh, Toys R Us was really into uh, you know licensed stuff. They didn't really do a lot of uh, fantasy they did do some but they would go after some of the uh, um, you know licensing because that that's what sells so here we've got an Audi got our headlights on for safety and a Beamer and then the Range Rover and I believe that's a uh, sport isn't it yep so there you go this is what I've got of that and uh, just kind of really just really kind of cool and uh, now Toys R Us, I'm going to put that aside while we talk about the next one here, and I got two of these buggers, yeah, they were pretty, <laughs> I was pretty stoked about that when I found these in the store, um, usually they would have uh, these Ford pickups with uh, trailer and bike, and I would dig through the pile every time, and I did come up with two of them, because, uh, I don't know, somehow I figured that they had uh, Land Rovers. I don't know how I figured that out, but they had Land Rover. Maybe I just came upon it just looking. But anyway, um, so this is the Land Rover Defender 110. Metal body, uh, very nicely detailed. Uh, 143rd scale, comes with a trailer and a bike. Uh, you got a, I like the big honking <laughs> hitch on that bad boy. <laughs> Holy cow. But you can see it's it's uh, very, very nicely detailed. No opening parts or anything like that, but uh, very nice truck, very nice truck. And that's part of that fast lane uh, setup there. And like I say, most of them were Ford uh, pickups, all kinds of variations and stuff like that. Very few were uh, the Defender. So removable trailers, two die cast vehicles included, authentic licensed, vehicles very awesome the motorsports haulers yeah and there he is again just a little bit tell you a little bit that fast lane is a mark of jeffrey and that jeffrey is jeffrey the giraffe if you didn't know and uh so there you go but uh they used a lot of castings and uh you know fast lane uh, that that brand they went out there and they, they got anything and everything that they could get their hands on to sell toys. Uh, they used Moose Mountain. I'm not familiar with that one, but they used Motormax. They used Real Toy, Road Champs, Summer, 
uh, Yatming Castings and Zelmec. Z Y L E uh, M E X. Zelmec. And uh, they would just grab up and use as much as they can. And, and they, all of these have been used over the time to fill uh, all these kind of different offerings that they have. One of the popular offerings at uh, Toys R Us with their fast lane was a two pack. They really did well with those. Not really sure on the retail price of these. This is kind of funny. Uh, like I say, I bought these in the store. They're opposites. <laughs> Same cars and everything, but just facing the opposite direction. So it was kind of cool. I picked up one of those, uh, each one of those. But uh, but I guess uh, Fastlane also marketed uh, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Auto World, Greenlight, M2, and even uh, towards the end, um, Majorette and uh, all others uh, over the time span. They were not brand specific. They were just into packaging them up and selling them, you know, uh, economically selling them so uh, you could get them out. We're going to take a closer look at these models uh, a little bit later in here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. Very nice detail, though. Uh, the other two-pack that I have um, is this one here. Now, these I got two of these. Uh, these are the green model. Uh, looks what is uh, JDM. What is that? Celica? I'm not really sure. But I got two of those. And um, the, the two pack was really kind of nice because you got two different cars. They would mix them up so many different ways and they could sell, you know, a ton of them because you never had the same, supposedly the same, uh, I, you know, pair, I guess. But uh, here's the. Um, all the licensing uh, gar garbage there. Uh, yeah, so so in Japan even, they uh, offered Hungwell in diecast, uh, Fastlane did. So uh, they were busy uh, company and uh, just really cool. Now these, these I think in the store were, you know, probably under $3 or about $3. Um, Metal die cast, you know, like I say, I, I think this is like a 124 scale or thereabout, but uh, very, very kind of cool. I'm really, really kind of, now if you go to the secondary market, these kind of call for a premium price. Um, so here's a uh, six pack and you can see all the different uh, brands and, and vehicles that they would make. And then it's got the discovery. Now I think Fastlane only did a discovery. I never saw anything else. But you know, this was the uh, the uh, Range Rover, and then they did the 110 there. But as far as the small diecast, they only did the discovery. We'll take a look at the back. So this is the Street Vehicle Collections by Fastlane. Now, as we all know, in 2018, um, facing bankruptcy. Toys R Us shut down all of its uh, U.S. retailers and uh, went defunct. Now, apparently, and I've heard through uh, different chat things and stuff like that, in 2019, they reopened some pop-up uh, re uh, locations uh, throughout the United States, but pretty much, yeah, they're pretty much defunct. I don't think they'll ever get into the, uh, you know, full-fledged, uh, you know, brands like they did now that truck was uh 2009 i think these were all kind of the same same time era i don't think these really have a date on them as far as when they were uh produced but uh really kind of cool really kind of cool i like this and and you know this is a cheaper off-brand stuff so um you know you can't find these every every day so here we go oh uh, i don't know if i can do this kind of show you real quick my jammer here uh, don't look at the bottom. That's a whole other different story, but <laughs> we'll take a quick look here at my jammer and uh, All the different cars that I've got here. We're gonna take these out look at them one by one and kind of uh, Some different things about them. So here is my best of the best of the orange model and uh, Really really nice. No details on the back, but it does have a spare tire uh, does have clear windows nice interior uh, let's see that is that is a uh, oh it is a left hooker so 
jump seats in the back. Can you see that? Now hold on a second. I got this, uh, I found this and moving my stuff. We're gonna see if this works. I don't know if it'll work or not. But see if we can get any closer with this. Oh. Yeah. You can probably see me shake more. That's about it. <laughs> kind of magnify that up a little bit. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Really, really kind of cool. That really doesn't work so well. I don't know. Maybe if I flip it around, it'll work better. <laughs> but anyway. Very cool. There, there was one. There was only two designs: this orange one with this blue graphics, and uh, then the green one. Now, if we take a look at the bottom here, um, now maybe I should use my my uh, my reflective. Uh, see that just a little bit better. I don't know. This is a game show here, trying to figure out how I can use this bugger. Uh, two thousand four. Land Rover Discovery, as you see on the top, then on the bottom there, uh, used under license, made in China. Now, as you noticed, right here on the back there, it says uh, Motormax. So this is one that they used uh, from Motormax, the casting. So I had I had seen Motormax before, and and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. So that's the nicest one I got. Double sunroofs up there. Um, they're not all that good at rolling, but uh, just kind of, just kind of really a nice, neat little model. And like I say, these are, these are hard to come by usually because you know they came in a in a two pack, or they, um, uh, you know, a five pack or six pack as it is. Here's the green one. Nice metallic paint job there on this. This is a very nice black interior, double sunroof. Uh, details on the front, and they did actually not too bad at details. Uh, very nice. I think that's the uh, Series 2 uh, headlights configuration. Uh, and you can kind of tell um, Motor Max or Fastline by uh, the wheels. You know, they kind of, if you look around a little bit at toys. Now, this one had uh, details on the back. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure exactly why. Um, but the, I know the ones in the package did too, so must come from that packaging. But uh, the orange ones, the orange ones never really did have uh, details in the back, which, you know, how much more effort was it, huh? <laughs> so pretty kind of cool. I really like this little bugger. Uh, did you guys across the pond, did you get uh, many of these? I don't, I don't know. So uh, here is one uh, I started messing around with because I've got uh, quite a few of these orange ones and and uh, different uh, different kind of uh, conditions or whatnot. And so this one I did take apart. We'll take a take a look at this one. Um, and I got some uh, Matchbox wheels on there. It doesn't uh, roll all that good, but it doesn't roll all that bad. But, uh, well, I guess it doesn't roll pretty much at all. These are real riders on there, so they they rub just a little bit. But uh, they fit pretty good. So anyway, I, I uh, just took the tampos off. I was messing around. I haven't yet got to strip it down and uh, take a look at, you know, uh, the uh, insides. Let's just pry this bugger open and see the construction of this bug. We got some time. We got some time. Thanks for sticking around with me. If you like what you see, go ahead, give me a thumbs up down there. Comment, have you have you got these where you live or is this kind of just a US thing? Uh, let's see, yeah, so just uh, plastic base. Uh, we get this off here and, the, and uh, the wheels are not attached at all to it. It's just a um, channel that the wheels would sit into. So we're gonna put those. Oh, gonna put those wheels back. Um, you know, and uh, so that's that's you know all right, kind of nice. All right, we'll put that down before we drop it. Now they didn't really have uh, much for to hold um, the axles down too much uh, there, but here we go. Here's the uh, interior. Let's say a left hooker and. Uh, just really nice. What is that? That's seven seater. Look at the jump seats in the back.
pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So that was, uh, that's about it for that. And then it had a piece of glass. Now that rear tire is uh, mushroomed in there. Um, but uh, yeah, then the glass is just pops in there. It's not riveted or all, at all or anything like that. The double sunroof. Now this one, uh, little paint on the, and the wipers. Yeah, all those, all those. Look at that little extra detail that, that was paint on those uh, wipers. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think the green one really, yeah, the green one had that too. Paint on the wipers there. So that's that's an extra, you know, effort there for uh, Motor Max or Fast Lane. Pretty cool. This one really could be redone. So yeah, eventually uh, someday we'll get into restoration. We're gonna take this down to the bare metal and uh, paint it up and do it right. Get some wheels that work on it and stuff like that. So. Really cool. So there you go, guys and gals. Thank you very much for joining me today with a look at Fast Lane and Jeffrey the Giraffe, the Toys R Us exclusives. As we go, we're going to take a look at uh, one of these nice green ones. Green is a favorite color of mine. So thank you very much. Also, remember like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can get notified every time Roverland puts out a video so you don't miss anything. Make sure you comment down below too. Let me know. Do you have these? Have you seen them? Do you know about Motormax? And uh, yeah, anything else? Just say hi. That'd be all right too. All righty. That's it, kids. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.